Let's bring in our guy, Max Letterman, who's over at the New England Ford Touchscreen. And Max, it's all about Isaiah Thomas, some great moments in a Celtics uniform. And we're going to go through some of those great moments right now. That's right, guys. It was hard to uh, come up with a list, but uh, broke it down here. And I'm going to start with my favorite. Okay, it's 52 points versus Miami. He scored 29 in the fourth quarter. To me, that game... He was always king of the fourth like that season, but that solidified it right there. Right. Remember That's on this show, I kept asking you, he ain't a superstar, Kyle. Oh, no, I know. He ain't a superstar. <laughs> and you started sweating. So that that I, was a Friday night of two. If open I up. That's yeah. like his, like, it was like the true, like, I'm not just, the king of the fourth was funny. This was real after that. Right. Great stuff, guys. And also, he had that game winner versus the Hawks. Uh, most memorable because the Hawks were wearing those sweet throwbacks, but this was one of his real coming out moments where he was all over ESPN and NBA TV, all that stuff. Now, you're not putting these in order, right? You're like, no. you're thinking about chronologically. We're just talking. No, he's just throwing them up there. He's oh, we're not like, no. that ain't his, the 52 was not his greatest moment. No, that, that was my good. favorite. That was Max's uh, favorite. I like, yeah, his, I like Isaiah and the Atlanta game because I thought they were going to lose this game. Look at him talking, and, too. And yeah, that whole like pointing to the watch. Can't believe he didn't get a big time watch deal. Yeah, that's that's one of his shortcomings in Boston. Not many of them, but King of the Fourth. I mean, you got to capitalize. Oh on yeah, that. it's all about big time. Which all got, right, man? guys, time for the heavy stuff, and we'll go with this one. Game one, 33 points in a loss. Uh, the day after his sister died. I mean, that was an incredibly emotional game for everyone. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't enjoy that. It was like. It was, it was heart-wrenching right. for me because he was playing good, but everybody was down. Right. Everybody, like, lost yeah. their spirit. And it's game one of the playoffs, that was tough, man. That was tough. But it, it, it was a great game for him, 33 points. And it, at the time, we were talking about all-time great performances, you know, right after a tragedy. Brett Favre. Uh, after, you know, his dad died. And then this one. But, Scout, it was sad, but I feel like, the team rallied around Isaiah Thomas during that moment, though. You know, the players. And, and it was awkward. I agree with no, you on that. Awkward. It was but, awkward. Yeah. But it, it, it just shows you how, like, mentally tough he was yeah. to go out there and do that. But, man, that was, that was tough for everybody. Everybody in the arena, like, felt bad for what was going on at that time. He was mentally tough and physically tough when he scored 53 points versus Washington game two. Uh, after chipping his tooth in game one and on what would have been his sister's birthday. My goodness. When's yeah. the 30 for 30 or the, the Isaiah Thomas true Hollywood story, whatever. I mean, the stuff he went through over those last few months uh, in a Celtics uniform, uh, to me, that's a Hollywood script. I mean, think about it. You know, and you talk about this guy's career. This may be the height of it right here on this day that yeah. we're watching. He was unbelievable that night and... Uh, I think if, if I remember right, like Washington took control of the game and he just willed the team to yeah. a win. Yeah, that's right. And we'll, we'll skip over game seven. He had a double-double, but that's pretty much the Kelly Olenek game. And let's talk about they were the first team to beat the Warriors at Oracle that year they won 73. Isaiah had 22 points all in the second half. Now, here's the thing about this game. They played a dogfight of a game against Portland the night before. I'm in the elevator with Brad Stevens, and I'm like... You, have you thought about just resting guys? Right. Like, what's the point? Yeah. You know, you're on this dogfight of a game. And he's like, I can't do that, man. I can't look Isaiah Thomas in the eye and say, I'm not allowed you going to play this game. He came after me afterwards, and Brad was like, aren't you glad I played the guys? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that because Port they lost to Portland. That was, that was a dogfight yeah. of a game. And then you're on a back-to-back -back in Golden State. And you know, I mean, you're riding on the wall. Long winning streak at home. It, it, you could see it right from the start. Right. Like, these guys were, were gassed up to play that game. Anything else, Max? Oh, that's, you're running out of space there, dude. Uh, well, yeah, I got no more space. That's all I got. Uh, the Game 7, like I said, that was the Kelly Olenek game, and then he got hurt. But, man, that, what, what an emotional roller coaster. I love Isaiah Thomas. I can't say that about a lot of athletes, but I truly love him. He had a great impact on this city.